Hi everybody, I'm Jessie from Now to NZ and today I'm going to teach you how to do these art attack nails. Thanks so much to everyone who gave me suggestions for the name for this video on Facebook and Instagram. It helped heaps, you guys are so creative. Don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up if you like this video and enjoy! As always, start off with a base coat. Then paint all your nails white. You'll probably need to do two coats to make it nice and opaque. Now we're going to do the brush. This goes across both the ring and the thumbnail, so make sure you push those nails really close together and you're on the basic shape. It's really important to have them together like this, otherwise the brush might not match up properly. My hands are shaking like crazy because it's really hard to do this in front of the camera. But um, just play around yourself and make sure you're on a hard surface and it shouldn't be so bad. Colour on the inside of the brush. Um, I've got a list of all the polishes I've used down below. Then add a dash of silver across the end of the brown on the thumbnail. Next use some blue polish or whatever colour you like to make the tip of the brush. We're making this look like it's been dipped in a pot of paint. Gently glide the brush down to make the nice natural looking dip. This is optional but I decide to add some splashes of paint around it just by making a few dots. And then I added the black bristles. I also added a white reflection into the brush's tip. Um, obviously as you can see here I did this very last for me but if you're going to do this I would add it in now. So back to the brush handle, we are going to use some dark brown polish and some light brown polish to make it look a little bit better. Make sure you do this to the part of the brush that's on the thumb as well. Alright, now you should be able to line those two nails up and make a brush. Hopefully one that's a little less shaky than my one because oh my gosh this is such an uncomfortable angle. As you can see, I did a purple brush on the other hand. That's the hardest part over, now we've got to make some paint splatters with a dotting tool. If you don't have a dotting tool, you can just use a brush, or else try using the end of a pin, because apparently that works pretty well too. Add some dots for paint splatters around these as well. Do this design across the rest of your nails in five different colours. I did pink, orange, blue, yellow and purple. Now just clean up any mess around your cuticles with a brush dipped in nail polish remover and apply a top coat. Okay so I'm not going to pretend I don't notice something else in that ring finger nail when you look at it on its own but when you put the thumbnail in there as well it makes it a whole lot better. If you recreate this design, I would love to see it. Just tag me on Instagram at NZ. Again, I hope you liked this video, and if you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.